What's up, guys? It's me. I'm going to uh, tell you what I'm doing today. No, well, probably to figure why I said that, but I'm going to be talking about tackle boxes, tackle bags. And which one do I prefer? No, I'll get that right off. This is my first time ever owning a tackle bag. I'm pretty excited, honestly. I'm gonna go over the pros and cons of a tackle box. Tackle boxes. I got this one for ooh, 10 bucks. Yep, 10 bucks. Not that bad. Not too bad at all. Um. I'm gonna open it. You see right at the. Oh, I'm gonna show you this. That compartment I can tell just to paint it over, but it does. It has one right there. Like that would where you keep your pocket knives. You know, I keep my receipts up there too, because every time I buy a new tackle, I always keep receipts. Just me, I like to keep track of my stuff. Okay, that's the top. Now if we gotta open it. Oh, I still got some jigs. I just got in here. I just cleaned it out today. There they all is. So, now, let's go over top shelf. Okay. You got those shelves. I put my jigs there. This is the second shelf as well. I put my hooks, weights, and then the bottom, which is nice to have this bottom because it catches stuff, you know. This is uh, 10 bucks. Not too bad. You can get a tackle bag for that price too. Maybe not the best quality one. Not one like. You'll probably get a better deal with the tackle box. Okay, pros. Rain. This is gonna get wet. But not like a tackle bag was gonna suck the water. It's gonna bounce off of it. Which is nice. Really nice. Um. That's a pro. A con. Carrying it. This weighs. I have about. I don't know. 20 pounds. Maybe. 15, 20 pounds. In one hand. Carrying it around. Like generally around like this. So if I'm going pond fishing. And I got to walk to a fishing po pond. I don't like it because I got to carry it. Plus, two rods. And all that. Now, storage is probably better. And oh, quality. You can probably drop that tackle box a dozen times before it breaks. Hmm. Okay, moving on. You got... Oh, uh, let me think of a con. Hard to find a good one. You can go out and buy a $6 one or a... Uh, $10 one, $20, $30, $40 one. Most of them still come with this plastic type of handle. Really uncomfortable. Really is. You carry it a long distance. Twenty pounds in there. Not as comfortable as I wish. Personal opinion maybe, but my hands do not like to be tied up any more than what they are, you know. Catfish and all those little cuts I have on my hands you probably barely, barely see them. Tackle bags. I'm gonna go with pros and con with those. By the way, those are clean dishes, so don't freak out back there. Okay, now I'm gonna go on the outside because I'm also showing you my tackle. <laughs> so, with this, let's see, what should I go over first? 
I'm going to show you the components. I got one in the front. Uh, spot to put your fishing license. Some of you may like that. Me personally, I probably won't use that one. I'm not under the age of. I'm under the age of 16. Two. I would rather keep my fishing license on me because, like, if I want to go fishing, I'm borrowing a buddy's tackle. I'm not probably not gonna have this on me. Ooh, weather alert. Thank you, Kansas. Severe weather may lead to flooding. Okay, I figured that. Um. I like the handles. I did like this. I like the carrying of this. So, let me open this up. There's three in there. Nice. 20 pounds. A little, little lighter because you don't have the, the heavy, the box itself weighs about a pound. Ooh, I'm the heaviest one I put. My jig. And there's more jig. Okay, that's what it looks like on the inside empty. You guys can't see it. Okay. Right on the side is where I like to put my worms. I'll go over my baits with you. Okay, let's start off with they call these power baits. Most of you know what they is. Um it wants you to use a weedless wild gap hook. Those, okay. I have one of those. Never caught a fish off one of those. That's fine, okay. This is a 5 inch and what did it say? 5 inch and 13 centimeter bait. It's a straight bait. I've never opened them, so I'm going to now. Um, oh, I can i got to open them from the right side, don't I? Eh? Oh, wait. I've opened them before. <laughs> so that's a nice little one. It smells like a... No. Max scent for sure. I got these on sale for... 50 cents, if I believe right. These you can tie a wacky rig, a Mackey wig. Well, you know, when you jig, it does this. Or I do what I do in tie Texas rig. So when you're jigging, you do a type of motion. Okay. I'm not quite sure what type of year those are. I'm not a bass fisherman myself. I catfish. Okay. To the next one. To the next one. Neon. I have neon ones. These are gumps. These are 5 inches and 13 centimeters as well. These are sinking minnows. These tell you you can use a jig head. Uh, a kale line slash slip rig. A Texas rig. Why did I call the rig I use Texas? Oh, my mind just went blank. I do not Texas rig. <clears throat> okay, and you can drop shot with these. <clears throat> okay, these got a horrid smell. But they look nice. They look sort of like a neon ill. I think I've caught a six pound bass off these. So they're nice. Really nice. I personally, I like them. But the thing is, I'm going to waste one. Fish bites on it. It pours, it pours, it pours. If it's a good fish, it's going to break it right in half. After it's been soaked in water. Stretchy. By the way. But after... So much stretch, I just felt that, and I was finally trying to. Boom. 
I was the one for you guys. I can still use this. I can still use this. So I'm putting it back in the bag. <laughs> Roll around here. Never waste bait. Or jigs. You find you find something on the ground. First of all, trash and all that. Pick it up anyway. Throw it away. Be a good citizen. Second of all, if it's the hook and stuff, you can use those. Okay, there's a bunch in here, but they originally came with these red. Ooh, this is a seven inch. I broke that one in half. Okay, seven inch. I think I broke all of them in half. Okay, seven inch. So yeah, it's way bigger than my phone, which is six inches. Seven inch. It does this twist dial. These are meant to go on jig heads. Power worms, they... Ooh. I thought the neon smelled bad. These smell wicked. Okay. Enough going over my worms, because I have ten minutes in this video. Anyway. Intro and outro is going to be like 40 minutes. Okay. Back. Now I just switched my camera around. Now we're gonna go over the. Oh, oh, come on. I'm gonna go over one of each. I call this more my plastic, cheaper ones. This is not a cheaper one, but I ran out of room. This one. Okay. This is a spinner. Mine with blanket. Rooster tail. These are really nice. I've caught lots of big fish on these. Minnows, I've only ever caught one fish off these. And it was, uh, snagged. Okay, heads. I hope, I'm assuming that you guys know what these are. These are worm hooks for plastic worms. These are a bunch of random worms. Okay. These are spinners. I got all these a dollar piece besides this one, which I found on the banks. Nice jenny to find on the banks. Now, moving on to my jigs. They're all jigs, I guess, but my most favorite to a jig. Okay, open these up. Okay, I'm going to start with the biggest jig I own. I just got it a few days ago. Yeah, I think it says it's weight on here. I don't... Was it 16? I remember looking at some fishing stuff and it was like 16 ounces. But I'm not quite sure if I bought a 16 ounce jig. Okay. So on the side of it it says Billy Dancer, which is a famous fisherman over here. Okay. Fat fish hat. I like I like that on it. Because obviously it's a fat fish hat. Moving down. My minnow. My minnow dagger. First, uh. Swim like a minnow. Okay. They call this the cream crappie. I'm not quite sure what it does. Now flipping into the other side. Grasshopper. Pretty explanatory. This, I have not used this yet. I think it's still a virgin when it comes to water. This is a floater. Caught a fish off of it already, and I just found it about a month ago. It floats. It's top water. I was using it in some mossy water. Um, it's pretty see though. I don't think it's supposed to float. Guess what? I found this one on the side of a bank. Alrighty, ooh, rattlers, my favorite. I've caught some of the biggest fish off my rattlers. My favorite rattler I lost ever. This is came in an eight pack. Okay. That came in an 8-pack, this came in an 8-pack, this, this popper came in an 8-pack, not this one, but this one, this one, this one, this one. Those two came in an 8-pack, and not, not that one. Okay. Rattlers. I am not kind of fish off this one yet. This rattler. I've had a similar looking one. I lost it at Brown County State Lake. My favorite jig ever, I lost it. Looked sort of like this, but not as much black. I caught a two pound crappie off it, six pound bass, five pound bass, and you know, all that. 
So, put my rally rose back in here. Papa. Not caught a fish off either of these poppers. This is a pretty old but new popper. This is a pretty new popper, which I got in that eight pack. Okay. These are also deep divers, I believe. Okay. I like this one, and I like that one. I have not used either. There's one of my warm hoods I was looking for. Give me that. That goes in a different box. They call this the Dying Shad. Because it swims like it's dying. It swims on this side. And it's little action. Not little action. A lot of action. It swims like a dying fish. I don't know if you guys have ever seen a dying fish. They normally swim on one side. Normally about a $10 jig. I got it for 3 bucks at the flea market. This jig. I had so much faith for it. I ended up giving it away to my brother. He's yet to get it. Is it still his? I don't want it. I need to bring it over to him sometime. Okay. That is all of my herd plastic jigs. Weights and fun stuff. I always keep a lighter in my tack box. I always keep weights in my tack box. Smash weights, I use those for bass, for crappie. That came out of my grandpa's tackle box, so I keep it everywhere. Bells, well, little bells. Lighter. I keep a lighter in my tackle box. One, I take my tackle box everywhere I go camping. Two, fishing. Um, egg sinkers, I use those catfishing, so I use those a lot. Pocket knife, explanatory, that's explanatory, and so is that one. Receipt. Receipt. Like I said, I always keep receipts in my tackle box. So. Okay. So now let me open this up to where I pull out all my hooks and swivels. I got this in a fifteen dollar Easter basket. Basket. Um. Um. Yeah, as I got all my gear out, I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons. So you just seen that I pull a little bit of tackle out, not too much. The compartments it has. I want to talk about a pair. The compartments it has. You can hold a lot. Not as much as I hope. Hoped in this little cheap bag. I traded a real plus 10 bucks to get these compartments. Um. What was I going to say now? Compartments. You gotta go bass fishing. Just take one. You don't need to take the whole bag. You gotta go cat fishing. Take one. Don't need to take the whole bag. Okay. Walk into a pond. Don't know if there's catfish or, cat, catfish or bass. I want to try a little bit of both. That's okay. I just take my strap and put it around my neck and walk it. <clears throat> or attach these two handles and I'll carry it. Easier to carry 20 pounds with. Way easier. More compartments so you can put more random stuff in your thing. Like more lighters, maybe more knives. I ran out of room. I'm gonna have to personally go out and buy a bigger tackle bag. That's just me. Cause I don't have terribly too much tackle, but I do have a terribly little much for this tackle box. So <clears throat> that's about it. Cons. If you fish in the rain, you're like me. You fish in the rain. That's when the fish love to bite. To better find a good spot for this tackle box bag, it's gonna get drenched. And you're probably gonna have to leave it in your your truck or something. That sort of sucks. Now you have to walk back and forth to get different stuff. Annoying. Worth it? Yeah, it depends. If you fish out an open lake or there's a road right next to it, good. You're okay. It's not going to kill you that much. You fish out a pond, it starts raining, you're a half mile from your vehicle. Your tackle box is drenched. Your bag is drenched. That would be Kansas for you guys. If you need, Most of you probably live in Kansas that watch my video. That... That tackle bag right there, this. With Kansas weather, you cannot predict it. 
Most weather you cannot predict completely to 100%. So, that's a really heavy con about having one. Pro, easier to carry. Um, none, I don't see many people with a tackle bag. I always have a tackle box. All my fishing buddies got tackle boxes. Family members tackle boxes. Me, I got a tackle bag. And, the good thing about this one, I've never seen this one around, ever. This, one week I had it. I was ready to exchange it because I was mixing it up with other people. Mm -hmm. I do not want to lose $200 worth of tackle in my box. So, you know what I mean. That's about it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video a little bit. It's probably going to be a longer one, but... Oh, well. Can't kill you too much. Um. Like the video. I, I'm i going to be making social media for this channel. I'm going to probably do... Instagram and Facebook. Or Instagram and Snapchat, or all three. I'm not quite sure. I'm probably just gonna do Instagram. I'm probably for sure gonna do Instagram. I'm new to that, and I want to learn how to use it better on my own phone. But Facebook is a 50/50. Snapchat is like a 60/40. I'm like 60% sure I'm gonna get Snapchat. Not quite sure. I gotta figure out how to edit my videos a little better and all that. But until then, see you guys later.